So when you're in a class with 12 or 20 or 25 people, sometimes it's hard to figure out how to get your question answered because you don't want to ask it in front of everybody else. Or sometimes you have a question that you know is just really just about you. And office hours are a really good time to come and get your questions answered one-on-one. -on -one. They're a time when the professor has promised to sit there in the office waiting for students to come by and talk. As a science major, it can be really difficult to connect with my professors um, in the classroom because there's not as much of an open dialogue. So office hours really gives me the opportunity to have that one-on-one -on -one and not only um, go over the material but also connect with my professors on a deeper level and really build a relationship with them. Another aspect of office hours is that this is where the professors start to get to know students individually and that's not useful just for class, that's also useful for the whole relationship between a professor and a student. So when a student asks a professor to write a letter of recommendation, the professor can do that based on their work in class, but also the way that we have gotten to know the student uh, through these one-on-one -on -one conversations. And that helps make the recommendation more personal, more convincing, and overall just much more effective. As an upperclassman, I really appreciate and understand the value of going to a professor's office hours. When I was abroad for a semester, none of my professors held office hours, so it was difficult to get a hold of them to ask questions or to come up with ideas that we could discuss. Now that I'm back at FNM's campus, I utilize all of my professor's office hours so that that's not an issue, and they're very helpful when it comes to postgraduate opportunities. What students at Franklin and Marshall College will find is that faculty office doors are often open for drop-ins. And students should take advantage of those opportunities to talk to faculty members about their coursework, their future plans, and also about courses that they might want to take in the future. I think if you do that, you'll find that you'll have a good pathway to success at the college.